This episode is proudly brought to you by Hot Tackle. Find a cheaper price and they'll beat it. Here it comes. Oh. Oh. Kate's on. <laughs> hey, all right. Is it okay oh, big tusky. Oh, hang on. Yeah, good one, eh? Oh, she does. She's got a good picture. <laughs> yes, Kate. <laughs> lift and then wind on the way down. That's it. Lift and wind it. on yeah. the way down. And lift yeah. and wind wow. on the way down. Perfect. Perfect. Well it's calling it a big tusky. <laughs> Sure is. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, oh, nice. Yay. <laughs> there it is. Holy yeah. shit. Wow. Pretty good. Okay, good eating. <laughs> First fish, yeah. yeah. First fish, is it? Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a good one. So I was trying to get out to say oh, good day yeah. to him. Yeah. Fellas on up the top there. Says he's hooked a good fish here. Oh, big fella! Oh, oh, solid belly! Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we're gonna need some. Yeah. Yeah, good boy. Yeah! Oh, Sazzy! Oh, Sazzy! Yes, Sazzy! Yeah! Look at that thing! Holy shit! Yeah, it's huge! Look at that guy! Holy shit! Oh, it's Tusky. Tusky King. I reckon this is bigger. Uh, Gee whiz! That's like 70 feet. Look at that curly! Just got a bit hectic. What do you got? Oh, oh my, my god! god. god. What? Stonker Pearly. Hey, high five. Oh no. Okay. Back down there. Hey, Dick. Hey, Dick. That feels. That's a. Whoa. What do you reckon? I don't know. I hope it's not. <laughs> Can't even pull him up at the moment. I don't know if it's oh, gee whiz. shark, eh? Hey, nah, it's a big What's fish. What's on the stand up? I don't know. I'm not getting my hopes up. Oh, oh no. All right, we pull. <laughs> hey, I just came up to see you. <laughs> big fella's on here on the jig. What are you calling it, mate? Oh, I don't even know, it's straight know. on the bottom. Oh. I mean, I've either been sharked or it was. Yeah. It's a big fish. It's a good one. It's all on here so far, isn't it, Zaggy? Yeah. It's going good. How's the arms, Griffo? Oh, mate, they're good. <laughs> it's only second fish, so. Yeah. It's interesting to see what this is, actually. So, yeah. This is a bit exciting. Not knowing what it is, it's so that. None of us can call it. I'm gonna say. Are you ooh, I don't know. I'm huh? gonna say an amberjack. No, nah, bro. We got colour. Nah, it's long. AJ. <laughs> That's what she said. 
Yeah. It's, it's long. Red. It's red. That's red. You reckon? Is it red? No, I reckon it's an amberjack. Full on an amberjack. Oh, it's got some colour. There's oh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five What do we got? You're right, Zachy. I'll just tail him. Yeah, five 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 Yay! 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 Very good. Nice. All right, Cass is on. Decent fish. No, it's little. Is it little? I'm just Doesn't tired. Look that bad. I'm just tired. You're just making it look big, are you? <laughs> Got some colour. Oh, you might have been oh, right, Cass. Nice Another tusky. Oh. Promotion's over now. Uh, better do some introductions, eh? Yeah. So we're up at the sunny coast right now, fishing with the drifts. We got a little Zaki here next to me. The mad keenest little fisherman you'll literally ever meet. Go right, eh? Mad jigger. He's old man, Nick. How's it going? How are you, mate? Not too bad. We got Mama Bear. Hey. Cassie. Yeah. I'm camera shy. And his granny drift. You'll meet her later, probably on the trip home. Yep. Then we've got Granny Griff's friend Kate here. G'day. <laughs> so you all just witnessed Kate's first ever fish just before. So that was cool, eh? Hey? Big tusky. From Cairns. Never caught a from fish. From Cairns down on a holiday, never caught a fish. No, hang on, not from Cairns, from Canberra. Yeah, yeah. Moved to Cairns. Well, you're in fishing heaven I up there. I've been trying, I've been trying catching fish. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to do a little walk around the boat while Nick drives to the next uh, spot. What is it? What is this boat? Uh, it's a custom built, built boat um, by John Sayer. Yeah. It's called a, um, a Sayer fish, a Fisher. Yeah. He's a yachtsman who yeah, built his own yachts. Yeah. Won his own races in his own yachts. Like yeah. Sydney to Osaka. Yeah, oh, Melbourne to Osaka, sorry. And um, yeah, he built this boat for himself. And we bought it off him and yeah. look at the fish we're driving oh. over. <laughs> no GPS marks on there, is it? Yeah, we're driving over fish. <laughs> okay, so action might start again, but anyway. Like Adam, I've been telling Adam, we, we basically can do... That looks good, man. ...do trips like this for yeah. a fraction of the cost that you guys spend on your fuel. So. Yeah. yeah, pretty good. We're a long way off Sunshine Coast at the moment, probably around 80, 90 kilometres. And, um, I think we're 110 kilometres. 110 from kilometres yeah. from, from home now, so which is Sunshine Coast. It took us... Or maybe just under five hours. Yeah, yeah, about that. Just under five hours to get out here. We cruising at 11 knots, and um, which might seem, oh geez, that's slow. But wait till you hear the fuel figures. Yeah, that's right. So this holds 220 liters of fuel. How yeah, many? Close to 700 nautical miles out of 200. 220. Close liters. to 700 nautical miles out of 220 litres. That's pretty good. One nautical mile, I believe, is 1.8 yeah, kilometres. So do the maths on that. It's ridiculous. Like, yeah. Yeah. you did, what did you do? 80, 90, 100 k's the other day, you used 20, 20 litres. So there you go. So travelling at 11 knots isn't so bad <laughs> at all. It was actually fun. Yeah, you just chill. Like, yeah. Sit down in the bed. Chill out. It's like you're being on a little, like, uh, uh, like you, you're on a yacht, you know, it's Pretty a cruising much. boat, it's a fishing boat, but yeah. it's very comfortable. So you got a throne <laughs> down there, you got a full big double bed up there, which is where I was sleeping on the way out. Sink, yeah, yeah. and then you got all the galley area here, sink under here. But she's been a bit rocky and rolly, there's been stuff rolling off the bench and that. Probably should clean her up. Long bed, nah, it's a fishing <laughs> boat. And then look at this, you got all this area out the back. Granny Griff put us a cheese platter on before. <laughs> Why whenever the camera goes on you, it's like, <laughs> and you don't even mean it. How does that, do you time that? And then yeah, we go up the side here. 
and there we go. This is it. Too salty. <laughs> Those boys dropping there on that mark. They love their jigging, these fellas. But I've seen he's a he's a cheating. You're putting bait on your hook, mate. I've seen it. <laughs> That's it. We've been trying to plan this trip for a long time, and it finally uh, finally aligned, and we can come up and do it. This wind now is meant to like drop right out. It's been blowing like. 13 to 15 knots southwest all morning, and it's just you can feel it dropping out now. We should get a beautiful run in, eh? Yeah, I reckon. We'll so probably yeah. get two hours out here with the glass out. Yeah. So then, uh, maybe jump for a swim, eh? Yeah, oh, I can feel the beers just blowing the salvo <laughs> yeah. on the way in, that's for sure. Hell yeah. It's good not having to drive the boat. That's it. <laughs> Especially when this one drives itself. I might have to later. <laughs> he just he just said autopilot, everyone went to sleep and I just well I didn't really sleep, I just kept sticking my head out and you're right. <laughs> He's like, yeah. So it was good. Anyway, we're gonna do some fishing. Yeah. Let's get him. Let's get back to it. Went hard at the start, yeah, eh? So hard. Tusky? Probably. It's looking very tusky, yeah. Eddie. So, uh, uh, we're in Tusky Town. I it was Big time. He matches your shirt. Yeah, he does. How's your jig collection, mate? Got a couple? Yeah. Oh, hang on, there's more on the other side here. It's for lunch, Granny Grip. We're we having pulled pork and coleslaw buns. It's to boil. Vision's gone a bit slow, so we're going to uh, have a feed. We can have good schools of fish, but nothing's biting. No lunch. Regroup. Go sleep. <laughs> yeah, I could. <laughs> they are yeah. actually biting it here. Yeah. Yeah. Of, of course, this one's fishing. Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Where's the fish? Yeah, I'll uh, just leave it there. Just there. 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 Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yep. <laughs> no head change, but... Of course, Not a bad fish. I think it's fishing sharks. Fishing slowed down, no. eh? Feels Mom, sharky. It it's, not, it's not swimming. No. Yes, Abby! It's a shark. It's a shark. No, it's not. Go in. It's if it is, it's um, giving up the ghost. Oh, it's red! Nah, Jake. <laughs> <laughs> yes! You got a crowd here. Every time. Yeah. It's a shark. Is it a good eating shark? It's <laughs> big. Far out. Oh, no. Alright. Dick's on to a good fish here. Doesn't feel sharky? No, big cod or something. Alright. Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you had a long way to go, man. <laughs> it's been really quiet for a little while now. We've just been searching around, found some ground out. A <gasps> hundred. What? Is it gone? Surely you've got it. I don't know. Okay. All right, looks like we might have dropped it. False alarm. That was a good fish, eh? Hey, hey, hey. Oh, hold on. Yeah, all right. Settle down. Is it a fish or a snag? Yeah. yeah. What's happening here? Oh, just an afternoon boy, mate. What are you calling? I don't know, man. It's acting very weird. Look at the scuffs on it. It's the fattest AJ. Someone, okay. someone. Wow. Hey, he's fine. Look at the scuffs on it. Oh, he's a freaking monster. It's yeah. like cooked. Quick, come on. Yeah. yeah, it could be. These, these are ancient AJs, hold on. Oh, man. Yeah, you could have a huge AJ. It's like All right. That. So Nick just got a massive AJ. Oh. So we're thinking. Oh, oh. Look at how fat it is. Oh, it's not fat. It's the fattest AJ. We're thinking this might be an AJ as well. <laughs> Which sucks. That's 
This is big. If this is an AJ, this is big. Oh no. Oh, go and says he. We're on to the spot. I'm the only one with eat today, Dave. Hand over the cake, get in. Oh, shit. My wow. God. <laughs> my God. <laughs> oh, my God. I reckon you're on that. No. Nah. Oh. Oh, there was no chance with that. Get me a jig. I want to do that. Get honestly, it doubles. Pick that guy up, Eddie. Oh, you're on a big AJ there, Adam. He's so fat. out of this fella for a quick photo and get him straight back in the water. <laughs> oh, look. On it. look at it. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Creeps all the way. Wilson, <laughs> 80 pound leader from the servo. Whoa. He just spat something. Be good, mate. Be good. Yeah, the underside. First and last drop on that new spot, please. <laughs> no way. I'm getting back down there. Man. How's that? What? This thing is ridiculously huge. Yeah. Oh, I reckon we get him back. Measure it. Right. I think you're gonna have to pop, pop his, belly, yeah. Pop his belly. All right, we're just swimming this guy. Popped his belly. We're gonna swim him for a while. See if we can get him to go. Let's have a look at him. That massive, big, big fella. He's got to be easy, like. One point five meters. Yeah. yeah, he was. Well, over the next fifty minutes, we swam this fish, and we swam this fish, and we swam this fish. And no matter what we tried to do, guys, we could not get him to go back down. Now, we tried piercing him through the skin to release all the pressure. Air just kept coming out and coming out and coming out and coming out. We swam him upright with his mouth open for nearly 50 minutes. We tried pushing him down as far as we could a few times, which is not far. And at the end of the day, we just had to give up. Some fish just can't be revived from barotrauma. Now this fella here, he was a black cod. Now the cod have a meter 20 maximum keep limit. So over a meter 20, you can't keep them. This fella was well over that. In New South Wales, the black cod is an endangered species or on a, on a protection list. So in Queensland, they're not. But unfortunately, on new areas like this one, uh, cod are very often the first things to hit your bait. And you'll, you know, if you fish for long enough, you'll know what I'm saying. You find a new spot, cod are usually the first that you'll pull up. And unfortunately, this fella was, and it was 110 meters deep, and the barotrauma he was suffering was bad. He had bulging eyes, bulging scales, his belly was just bulging. We pretty much knew he wasn't gonna make it, but we wanted to try. And we tried our best, and like I said, at the end of the day, we had to give up, all right? So in the comments below, I've actually been doing some research here while I'm editing. We, we, there was nothing more we could have done without a release weight or a release cage. You still have to get these fish down to the depth that you caught them, which in our case was 110 meters. To have that much rope on hand spare is, you know, not everyone has that. To have a release cage for a 1.5 meter fish and possibly a 55, 60 kilo fish and a release weight heavy enough to get him down, it just wasn't gonna happen. So we did everything we could and unfortunately, that's the way it goes sometimes. 
a little bit about barotrauma, guys, is there's a few signs of it, okay? So you'll see um, sometimes a stomach coming out of the fish's mouth. You may see a bulging stomach or bulging scales and uh, more severe cases, you'll see bulging eyes and stuff like that. Bulging eyes are a good sign they are not going to make it. So that's why sometimes Venus tusk fish are really bad for it. Fish sub 30 meters, usually pretty good. Over 30 meters, 50 to 60, sometimes they'll go back. Over 60 meters, it's pretty hard to get fish back. But you know, stuff like uh, red emperor, uh, pearl perch, snapper, they're quite good. They'll go back down at 140 meters, no problem. So guys, um, a little bit about it is, you know, check for those things. If it has a bulging uh, stomach, its stomach's come out of its mouth, you can pop its stomach. Where its pectoral fin is, you can uh, make a little in incision or a spike with like an ichyjima thing or, um, you know, just whatever you've got there, like a brain spike. You can come in behind the scales on a 45 and just pierce just into the skin. And you should hear all that all that air come out of them and then they should release well, all right? If their intestines have come out of their butt, you can usually pop that and send it back in and release any air from behind the pectoral fin and they should go back down. If not, you're gonna chuck them out and they're gonna float. So many times, like I said, like Venus tusk fish, very bad for it, 30 centimeter size limit and you catch one 32 centimeters and it looks tiny and its eyes are bulging out of its face and everything and you got to just chuck it back so um yeah it's pretty you know crap set so you know if you catch one that's 34 35 and you usually send it back you might as well keep it rather than wasting it and just chucking it out anyway guys look that's a bit about barra trauma uh, hopefully you know it might help you guys save a few fish you may not know how to save but in this case it didn't help us and it was a real bummer so to see a fish like that and not be able to uh go back down so anyway, guys, leave a comment if there's something else you think we could have uh, tried. Be nice. <laughs> any, any abusive comments and that, they'll be deleted straight away. Um, so if there's anything else, any tips you could give us that we didn't do, leave a comment. Let us know how you think we could have got the fish back down. And yeah, so anyway, guys, back to the show. I think we're actually find the same fish. Yeah. Nah, no way. Yeah, Go we under, are. Under, 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 the yep, upstairs, under that. Yeah, hang on, babe. No time like the present. Sorry, it's not under. We're fully wrapped. Well done, girl. Oh, no, no, it's all good. It's um, just going into oh. pounds. Oh, yeah, but you can. Uh, Net, uh, quick! Suck! Net! Yeah. Woo -hoo! Yes! <laughs> yes! I love this spot! Oh, how good! Oh my god! Look at the size of this thing! That's my foot! Oh, I'm cooked! Says he's on too! Oh my god, oh. says he! You got it, girl! It's not a Maori, it's something else. Oh, that's cold. Yeah, that one. Yes, says he. Oh, Double photo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm bugging after that. <laughs> yeah, my girls. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Granny gets the gold. All right, Granny Grip. <laughs> he's, a, he's a beauty. <laughs> <laughs> How's that? You're not going, you're going right for an 87 year old. Up the granny. Yeah, granny. Can I have a beer now? Phew. Get into it. You got a shotgun. <laughs> well, it was time to start the trek all the way back in. But not before doing a couple more drifts, and hooking up to a couple of more monsters from the deep. Most likely huge amberjack. We could not stop them. But it was a perfect end to a really good day. Oh, 
right, that's it for fishing. We got a northeast wind coming in about seven or eight o'clock tonight, so we're beelining at home now. We've got uh, 96 kilometers to go, and that'll take us about four and a half hours. Yeah, probably around that. About four and a half hour trip, so it'll be good, but look at this. You've seen a lot of things you haven't seen before today, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> And then it got a little bit rowdy. Oh, good morning. Six hour trip home last night. Beautiful run in and now we start the clean up. The best part, fill the fish, clean the boat and head back. How good's this set up? Have you seen the tiny little flatty um, lay downs down there? No. Oh. Oh, yeah, look. <laughs> All little flatty lays. Yeah. You see where the birds come up to them? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. But yeah. This is a dirty old rig at the moment. Fish were caught. Look at this. Let's do it. Too early? <laughs> Too early? <laughs> oh, we've got a few to do. Righto, we are about half an hour into the filleting. We've got a long way to go. So what I'm doing is doing all the tuskies first. These are a Venus tusk fish and they're absolutely beautiful eating. So doing all them and then Cassie will cry back them all, but- Zach is on the case too. Zachy's over there, Phil and that. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chuck a couple in the crab pot and sink the crab pot over the back of the boat here. See if we can pick up a crab. You never know, there's a few frames down there. Yeah. It's a big boy, that's my hand. A good fish. Come out 100 metres. Granny Griff. Granny Griff. Alright. Last two fish. A couple of big pearlies. Yeah. These were the uh, highlights of the trip, eh? Biggest first pearlies drop. that Zachy's seen. First yeah. drop and straight into them. So that was it for the pearlies. 60. 60 centimetres, yeah. Best eaten fish in the ocean. Look at all them chickens. Look at all them chickens. Alright, guys. Well, Look, the fish are filleted, everything's done. Uh, that was a bloody good time being out on this boat. It was really cool just cruising really slowly, just such a relaxed sort of vibe, music cranking, couple of beers last night, a heap of fish. It was it was unreal actually, had a great time on this beast, too salty with the griffs, but um, all good things must come to an end and that's it, fish are clean, boat's done, well, pretty much done. I left a little bit for Nick to do. <laughs> but guess what we've just decided? See all these rods here? They're going back in the boat. And guess what we're doing? We're hightailing it up to Double Island right now. <laughs> They've just pulled a couple of days off work. We're taking Sylvie up on the inside, up the beach. We're meeting them up there in the boat and we've got a couple of days of diving and fishing and everything to come. This is gonna be a bloody cracker. You're gonna see that one next week. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next week with the bloody Ripper episode with the Griffs again. Eww. See yous. Alright, oh, my first Spanish mackerel on a spear gun. Oh, seriously, I can't believe it. We're on! We're on! Yippee! Yeah, the boy! Plenty of merch online, guys. If you want to support the channel, jump over to outerline.com.au and go for gold. Cheers, legends. We appreciate the support.